Hey everyone, welcome back. It's been a while since I made my last video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Olinga and I create videos on digital art, mechanical keyboards and tech. In today's video, I want to talk to you all about my desk setup. I'm going to break up this video into five parts. I'm going to talk about the core elements of the desk setup, what's on the desk, what's around the desk, what's under the desk and any accessories and peripherals I use. There have been some minor updates since I began filming. These include the new 14 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip and a set of speakers I will talk about later. Previously I was using the iPad Pro to power this setup. Currently it is the MacBook Pro. For the desk itself, I'm using the Carbly worktop from IKEA, which is actually a kitchen bench top. I have it sitting on two white trestles from IKEA as well. I've had this desk for about a year now, and it has held up very well. It's very sturdy and is made from solid birch wood, meaning that it will not bow in the middle over time. I usually take photos of thumbnails on here, and it's been great for that. The main computer that I've been using at the time of editing this video is the 2021 MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip. I was so excited to get this laptop for editing videos. I previously had the M1 Mac Mini in the 8GB of RAM configuration. It wasn't enough for my needs as it kept glitching in Final Cut Pro. The MacBook Pro has been amazing. I have never owned anything this premium before. It glides through the Final Cut Pro timeline without a single startup. It's like butter. I have the base model configuration with 16 gigabytes of RAM, eight core CPU, 14 core GPU, and 16 core neural engine. For the monitor sitting in front of me is the Dell UltraSharp 2720Q, 27 inch 4K monitor. It has been great for all of my needs from video editing, consuming content, university, photo editing, and occasionally playing games. I've installed bias lighting on the back of this monitor using strips from a company called Medialight. The monitor comes in clutch when it comes to video editing as it has more space for me to go through on the timeline. It's a great display that has enough ports for everything I need including USB-C power delivery. This is great as it charges the MacBook Pro while I have it docked. The monitor is on a simple desk mounted arm from Amazon and the MacBook Pro sits on a simple laptop stand from Amazon. As you can see, I don't have a lot of things on my desk. I like to keep it simple. I have a Grove made desk mat that sits underneath my keyboard and mouse. It has been great for my use as it keeps my table protected and it provides a great surface for the mouse to glide over. I will probably get the bigger size of this desk mat to fit the Apple Magic trackpad as well. The mouse that I'm using is the MX Master 3 from Logitech. It has been great for all of my video editing needs as it has the side scroll wheel for scrolling through the timeline. The form of the mouse is also very ergonomic. I like it very much. The keyboard that I've been using for a while now is the Keychron Q1. It is a wired custom mechanical keyboard. If you want to see my full review of it, click on the link on the top right of this video. I modify the keyboard to my liking to change the sound and feel. I like the deep sound of the spacebar as well as the high pitch popping sound of the other switches. I have two different switches in this mechanical keyboard. These are Gatoron Milky Black switches and the Bobo U4T switches. Here's a quick ASMR sound test. Next to the keyboard and mouse, I have the Magic Trackpad. This has been great for swiping between pages, scrolling and for video editing on Final Cut Pro. I enjoy using the gestures on the trackpad and it feels natural to use. The speakers that I'm using is the Vonix SMN 30W 3 inch studio monitor pair in the white colorway. These were affordable and they produce amazing sounds and the bass is very clear and great for editing and general media use. I have the MacBook Pro plugged in with a USB-C straight into the monitor. It sits on a cheap Amazon laptop stand. I also have a fake plant from IKEA to add a touch of contrast to the tech on the desk. On the right of the desk, I have a guitar sitting on a stand. To the right of that, I have my bag that I pretty much use every day for uni and work. It meets all my needs and has space for a MacBook Pro, iPad, lunch, water bottles and a couple of other things. 
To the right of that is a wooden cupboard, which I'm unsure of where we purchased. It fits all of our books and other things to make the home office feel like home. Under the desk, I have a Sigmin tray from IKEA, which does the job for keeping cables out of sight. I ran an extension cord attached to two power adapters, one for my desk and one for my wife's desk, through some white cable hiders from Bunnings, which have 3M double-sided tape to stick to the ground. This does a great job of hiding the cables from the ground. I've been using the Samsung T5 portable SSD and it's been great for editing videos straight from the drive. It saves a lot of space from my MacBook Pro. I also use the iPad Pro on a simple stand from Amazon. For my wallet, I've been using the Bellroy card pocket. It has got all of the sleeves that I need for my cards, cash and coins and it is relatively cheap. I've been using this desk setup for a while now and it has been useful for all the productive tasks that I need to complete throughout the day. I hope you all enjoyed this video and got something from it. Feel free to ask me any questions and see you all in the next one. Peace.